All right, this video is going to be how to set up the club dome telescope and mount for astrophotography. The club mount is a Celestron Advance GT, a rather old mount, and it uses a hand controller, a Nexstar Plus or a Nexstar Asterisk hand controller. The hand controller has a USB connection in it, and there is no USB connection on the mount. So you have to go through the hand controller to control the telescope. Once it is connected to CPWI, you cannot use the hand controller for slewing. In the past, I have created connections and have, have done it incorrectly and the slew controls would not work in Nina. I have gone back and looked at a YouTube video that I had viewed many months ago and have found what the issue was. So this video is to show how to properly connect this older Celestron mount so that the slew controls will work in Nina. So the first thing you do is you have to go to ASCOM and not the ASCOM's connection that I was doing, but you have to use ASCOM Device Hub. You bring it up. Now this computer, being that it's doing a screen recording as well as trying to open up software, may be a little slow and I may have to speed up certain points. Excuse me while I have to clear my throat. All right, <clears throat> ASCOM Hub is up. You pick Tools, and you go to Setup. And you choose, hit, click on Choose, and this window will fly out, or you, you can fly out this window, and you want to pick CPWI to be connected to the Device Hub. You hit OK. Hit OK again. Now, you minimize this. Do not close it. Minimize it. Next, you can go to CPWI. And I was surprised it opened as quick as it did. Uh, and then go to hand controller. And the telescope is turned on and connected. And the USB cable is plugged into the hand controller. Now, a newer version of Celestron does not list hand controller because it assumes that you have the newer mounts. But on this mount, I have to use this version in order to get this hand controller. Click on it and let it load. Now it was parked. Would you like to unpark it now? Okay, we can unpark. Now I had already done a simulated alignment uh, for the telescope because the telescope end mount is in the dome and it's permanently mounted and hopefully it has been polar aligned and star aligned and everything is is working so now we have connected the to telescope it's showing it and uh, you can come up here and go down to slew controls and you can turn on the slew controls just just to have them open and this window will stay open in all your other programs now you can change the rate by moving the little slider of your slew. I don't particularly like this slew control, but that's what we got. Now, <clears throat> let's minimize this. Let's open up Nina. And you got different profiles that you can put into your your Nina software, and I do have one for the the uh, the dome scope. You want to say low profile, and under the profile, let's 
open this up. Uh, you, you got this bar over here, and you hit on the telescope, and you can see it's already set up to have the device hub. Not CPWI, but you pick device hub telescope. Now, you fly it out, you can see that the CPWI is listed, but you don't want to pick on it. So you pick on device hub. You click on the button. And this comes up, it says the mount site setting is different from Nina. And should the settings be synchronized? Well, let's look at this. I guess I didn't put in the mount elevation in the hand controller. Nina's got 84. I, I really don't know why it comes up. Uh, I don't think the, the hand controller has uh, or the CPI has a elevation. So I'm going to say from Nina to mount simply because in the past when I say from mount to Nina sometimes plate solving doesn't work. At least I have experienced that on other. So I, I use from Nina to the mount. <clears throat> and here you of course get the elevation issue. I don't know why that makes any difference, but now, as you can see, I got the two slew controls. These slew controls now work. Now, I parked the scope using the CPWI program when you click on that and, and you open it up. And you, you if you want to park the scope, you got to save alignment park scope selection right here. That's what I use to park it. I, I, I have used Nina in the past for parking, but I found that it's better just to let the mount go back under CPWI's program. Now, there are plenty of other YouTube videos on how to make all these other connections with your camera and your PhD guiding. In Nina, before you click PhD guiding, you should really go ahead and open up PhD and connect it. So we're going to open it. Let's minimize Nina. PhD comes up and then you you can open up the window right here using this little U UBS thing. And I have different profiles also in here. And I have one for the dome. And it uses the Starshoot Auto Guider, and you, you can use CPI ASCOM driver, and you can hit connect, and it will connect. Now, if I hit it, it's probably going to come up and give me an error because I don't have the camera connected. So, but you would hit connect, and if you had your camera connected, you just say connect all, or you can hit each one just to see if they load. And once P PHD is running, then you can tell Nina to connect your guider. So let's see, now uh, let's minimize these. Close that. I'm going to close it. The other item you can connect is Stellarium. And you could have all these programs running now, Stellarium Planetarium is, I like it better than I do CPI's Planetarium. But in Stellarium, you can uh, select your object and uh, have the telescope slew to it once it's connected and set up. Now, Nina, of course, will do the same thing when you select your object, it'll slew to it and plates off and center it and all that. So. But there are times when plate solve don't work as well as it should, and you may have to use Stellarium to slew to the object. Now, this is the landscape of the, the dome area. This is a daytime setup. Uh, 
correction is not the dome landscape, but it's the fields landscape. And I do have one for the dome, but I'm going to have to revise it. So what you would do to connect Stellarium, you could go to configure, but I like to go to this little icon down here that shows like a little telescope. And click on it. And I do configure telescope. And I have some profiles and I have the dome. I'm going to have the dome. And you can hit the little toolbar here. If you don't already have it set up, and sometimes even with hitting the toolbar, you know, it's uh, not set up right. I don't know why. But choose your ASCOM telescope. <clears throat> Take a little while. And it's got already CPWIs picked, which is okay. I, I guess you could pick the device up, but it's it says that CPI is done. So if it doesn't work, then you can pick the device up. Say okay. And you say okay, and it closes. And then you come to your dome and you say connect. Usually you don't have to go to that tool again, but after you've already set up your profile. It says it's connected. Now, <clears throat> it's facing south and the telescope is facing north in the park position, so let's slew to the north. And I don't see the little icon in this area, so maybe. Oops, I hit the wrong thing. <clears throat> Let's do a disconnect. Connect it again just to see what happens. So it's not showing the little telescope icon. All right, so let's change that. Configuration. Let me cancel that because I got to disconnect it. It's disconnected. All right, let's go back to configuration. The dome. And let's pick uh, device hub telescope. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Connect. Well, it's showing the dome over there. Now something's off with that. Now let's close. Larium. And open it up again just to be sure. I know what it is, probably because, let's see, let's disconnect it, let's connect the hand controller again, maybe because I parked it, it was the issue. <clears throat> when it's coming up again. I shouldn't have to align it again. It should be fine. Yeah, 
get to our coordinates. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm going to cancel that simply because it's already been done. All right. And there, it was just a connection issue, I guess. So that's where the telescope was pointing, and that's how you connect. Oh, so, let's go back to here, and you want to disconnect, disconnect it, close it, close that, close that. And Nina. Come up and you can turn off the telescope, close the program, and you, you would close all the other items too. Uh, not now. Okay, um, so we're going to disconnect and we close the program. I hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, learned from my mistakes and uh, clear skies to you.